So, yeah, let's begin. Today I shot this video using GH5S camera. I shot on a sign D profile picture. And as you can see the video, it's not looking good, man. It's overexposed. Things are clipping. And I'm going to show you a trick that I used to bring back details on the clipped highlights. This is one of the videos that is going to show you how to fix it in post where you clipped your footage or you overexposed your video. Every time I was going through tutorials, I used to see people say when footage is clipped, it's already gone, especially when you shoot footage that is already direct 709. Because bear in mind, this is not a log, this is not log footage, it's not raw, this is rec 709 so if it's clipped it's clipped but i'm going to show you this trick so i hope this is going to help someone so sit down take your glass of water let's see how we can fix this footage in post-production thank you and remember subscribe to this channel let's begin let's go <clears throat> funny huh <laughs> just did one very stupid shit but it's working man so this is this is this is a tone curve and as you can see by using tone curve what have we done we've brought back detail on the kind of highlights but now the more the clipped ones are gone so we can try this again this is not working Yes, it's kind of working at least. So we can bring this down a little bit and then bring this no, not even more lower. Now here, that is better. And then because by doing this already, our contrast is not okay. So we shall come to the lower side of the, of the curve, bring it down for our contrast, just like that. And then our mids, we can kind of lift this lower side eh? just for a small, tiny bit, something like that. And then bring this up a little bit for my, for my mid tones, kind of. So this is before and that's after. Look outside the windows. You can see these windows open. But now things are clipping. This this is now detail that is gone. This is not coming back. But as you can look through this windshield, we are bringing these trees back. Remember, see, before, everything is just blown out and gone. But look, just by bringing, by doing this, we already brought back details in front of the vehicle. So this is a trick that you can use to bring back exposure in your footage. If you want to continue color grading, you can continue adding nodes. Uh, but this was just showing you how to bring back detail that is clipped. So and uh, you can also, I can, let me select this and see this other footage if it will work on it. This is a vehicle. Yeah, the same, same trouble happening here. You can see the vehicle is, cl it's, it's, it's clipping up and belly in front of the vehicle. This is boot, I'm a bonnet. At the bonnet side of the vehicle, things are clipping behind here, the grass, the sky, everything is just gone. So let's apply the trick and let's apply this grade and see if it will bring detail. Ah, now you can see just by doing that simple trick of, of, uh, of curve, detail is coming back. If in Mpaka Kwa Mawingo, you can even see the clouds there. Eh? Things are coming back again, but this is a trick that you can use to bring detail back into your footage. You can also, you can even see by using your waveform, things are blown out like crazy. But by just doing that one trick, the, the road is coming back, the, the, the sky is back, things are just, things are falling into place. And then you can continue grading your footage how you like it, how you want it. You can continue making your contrast again, push down your blacks, lift your highlights a little bit to bring back the contrast so that, yes, it's blown out, but you can still, you have to work on the contrast because the fact that we've already messed with our tone curve, it means the contrast is already messed up. So you have to work on your contrast again, just, but massage it, don't overdo and push it because if you push it, you're going to also 
blow up your highlights again so you have to really massage your contrast just tiny bits of slowly by slowly and you work around this footage so this was just a video to show you how you can you can bring back uh, overexposed footage in post production so kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, hope this tip will help someone out there if it will not help you man i don't know what will help you but this one is definitely gonna help you somewhere so thank you and subscribe